traffic can be like a jigsaw puzzle, but if we know the pattern before we start, it is so much easier to fit the pieces together. The good driver fits into the pattern and thinks ahead. Do you think ahead when you are at the wheel of your car? To start with, is your car regularly serviced and do you make sure that you have maximum visibility? Most accidents occur because one or more of the parties involved has failed to anticipate. Failure to anticipate arises from lack of planning. Failure to plan often arises from a foreshortened point of concentration. For instance, where do you look when you are driving? Here or here? Now you have seen that road sign. If you normally look at the nearer spot, you wouldn't have seen it until it was much closer. You are doing 45 miles an hour. That means a thinking plus braking distance of at least 145 feet. And you have to be ready for anything. See what I mean? The key to thinking ahead is, of course, ability to see ahead and to interpret what is seen. Elderly people often forget to look, but must they suffer for it? You should have seen the person at the bus stop and expected this. Now, you cannot possibly see what is happening ahead of that coach if you drive so close to it. That's better, but not quite good enough. At 40 miles per hour, you need to be at least four car lengths away. One length for each 10 miles per hour of speed. That just represents your thinking distance. What happens if the brake lights of the coach in front come on? You begin to think. But unless you know why he is braked, you don't know how hard. Ouch. Yes, it was a dot. That's why he dropped his anchors. A good job the damage was not worth. Now, if you had not been driving so close, you could have avoided the accident. Let's repeat the incident. We are following the coach again on the same stretch of road. Now, if you had stayed further back like this, you would have seen the dog run out at the same time as the coach driver and have been ready for the emergency. Again, we need that safe following distance so that we can see the road well ahead. All clear now? Aren't you going to check in your mirror? Hold it! You hadn't seen that car, had you? Now, be honest. Let's start again. Still clear ahead? Check in mirrors? All clear? Even so, it costs nothing to signal. So, switch on indicator and position yourself so that the driver in front can see you in his mirror. If you need to change down for peak acceleration, do it now. A light tap on the horn to warn the driver ahead and overtake quickly, deliberately, and with a good margin. Pull in again when clear, but don't cut in on the overtaking vehicle. Here is another good reason for keeping distance. That coach ahead is about to overtake a young cyclist, and he's cutting it rather fine. The combination of slipstream and reaction made the cyclist pull out. Keep a margin for safety. Some drivers need to travel faster than others and have the power and skill to do so safely. Others, however, think they have the right to control the action of other drivers and attempt to do so by closing the gap when being overtaken. This extreme blocking is nothing short of criminal behavior. The good driver, by keeping a safe gap between following vehicles, helps those whose need is greater. Perhaps emergency vehicles. And if this means for a brief period you, who do not need or wish to overtake, must drop back a little until they are clear of the next ahead, why not? It costs nothing. It might even give you some satisfaction at helping others on their way. Heavy vehicle drivers can help a great deal, particularly on long hills, by keeping a good gap like these tankers. And staying well to the left, so that faster traffic can take every safe opportunity to pass. Drivers like these, who think ahead both for themselves and for others, and who have the skill to deal with emergencies as they arise, are the salt of the earth, or should I say the road. Thank you, drivers. Thank you. And thank you, Gulf Oil Great Britain, for cooperating with the Royal Society for the Prevention of Accidents in the production of this film. Thank <laughs> you.